I like this um, topic of consciousness if, uh, for a lot of reasons, but one of the things I like is just it, it provokes a lot of internet behavior, you know, that's... Inter it's, an, it's an annoying stuff, but it's interesting. Um, excuse me for getting the handle of the person that he's on. And that's it. Well, what do you mean by you and will? He's going to pull a define the word is type thing. So, uh, then I give the answers and I think that, you know, it, his response, he's like, he's asking me something he, think I might, he thinks might stump me. You know, maybe I'll say blah, blah, maybe I'll try a weak one or I won't be able to. And he has a comeback set up, you know. It's not, it doesn't look too closely at my answer. I said my def definition for myself is whatever is either having or is appearing to have perceptions, the perceptions. And he's like, whatever isn't a good word in a definition. Of course it's a good word in a definition. Like if I'm a primitive man uh, 50,000 years ago, what is the sun? It's whatever's causing the light in the sky in the daytime. That is a good definition at that time. It's an extensional a definition. It's done with the indication. I'm pointing at something in nature. That's where all definitions ultimately come from. In my opinion, that uh, could be controversial. I also wrote in a comment in the Snake Pliskinist thing. I don't really consider myself racist. There's some racist habits and phrases. It's kind of like I didn't learn until my mid-30s that the word I got gypped was from gypsies you know so you can find things like that but I don't think racially at all I don't think oh he's this race he's probably that way or that race because I don't I just I don't think that way because I don't do that with really any classification but least of all race anyway that's another subject yeah it's like um, this is how all words start being defined by what I've told you about the extension, the set of things you indicate. Then you try to characterize them. All right? So first I indicate. First I, I have, there's some phenomena that we can share an experience of. Like there's other people that have this stream, they open their eyes and they have a stream of consciousness. You either say every single thing has it, or you wonder why you have it. Or you say every single thing has it and you wonder why that is. Yeah. People are like, oh, it's so vague. That's the that's the second part of this is that, oh, you're so vague. Sounds quite vague, these words like perceptions. What's a perception and aware? What does aware, what does appear mean? Nobody's ever heard of the word appear. We have no idea what you mean to be conscious or unconscious. Those are the same thing. What? It's so vague. You have a stream of perception. What possibly could you mean? You're making that up. And somebody asked me about Dennett's, Dennett's position, and it's like, I haven't read his book, but my understanding is he's saying there is no hard co problem of consciousness. That's just defying your own experience, unless you don't have it. And if you really don't have that experience, you don't open your eyes and see things from your point of view, I find that very difficult to believe. But maybe you're just a computer processing what you see with no inner uh, sense but what is that going to do to my reasoning I do have that experience you're just fooling yourself you don't have it what the fuck it's you point at it's like I'm looking at the moon I see the moon you're not really having that experience you're in a matrix well then I'm in a matrix having that experience I mean I'm seeing something I'm so whatever that is it's the moon whatever this experience is of, of being what we would call the witness or the watcher or the agent or the however you want to name it. <laughs> you point your finger at it and you go, there, it's called FUBAR. Now, let's find out how FUBAR works. Oh, it's much too vague. We don't know what you mean by these weird esoteric worms, words like perceive or appear. Really? <laughs> you think that's credible? No, you're just talking too long words, these vague words like, you know, you see a color, and what, what do you mean by that? Uh, I think you're making it more complicated than it really has to be because you believe 
that it's all about your soul and you don't have one. So that uh, doesn't exist. Well, it's not about your soul because you don't have one. So it's about something else. You can still point your finger. Oh, but but a priest pointed his finger at that and said it was my soul. Well, he was wrong. So if he points at the sun and says that's a god. When you find out that he's wrong, you can say, so therefore there is no sun, because that's basically what you guys are doing with consciousness and will. It's, it's rather funny.